Well, it hasn't been emptied in at least three weeks. The sight, the smell, everything is disgusting. It's unsanitary. People living in the Oasis Village Mobile Home Park say it is far from an oasis. They say the stench of trash overflowing from the dumpsters has made living here almost unbearable. I get maggots in my yard, you know, and then my, my husband has to take gasoline and pour on him and set him on fire, you know, to kill, to get him, kill him dead. Babby Curian is the owner of the park. When we tried to talk to him on camera. Tell me what's going on with the trash. Hey, I'll go, I'll go. Get out, get out. What's your get out. Get out, get out. He shoved us out of his office. Prior to our visit, the Department of Housing was at the park for a scheduled maintenance inspection. We're looking for structural defects, substandard conditions, illegal structures that may have been built, utilities that are not operational. If any violations are found, notices will be sent to residents and Korean. There is a, a 60 day correction period, then there is a reinspection at the end of that 60 day period to determine whether or not the uh, violations have been corrected. The state says it will also make sure Korean cleans out this trailer that has been sitting here since it was burned down January 11th. If he doesn't follow through, the state could suspend his permit to operate and file a complaint with the district attorney's office. I'm hoping that he will be held responsible and that things will get better. You know, the four lives that were taken, some closure, and um, for that never to happen again.